Hello people, this is Razan Avon giving you my thoughts on the 2017 uh, Spanish Grand Prix which went down yesterday. So let's get on with it. Vettel stormed to the lead, uh, took the lead right from the off, but it was a carnage uh, further down the grid with um, involving Massa and um, and Verstappen and and Kimi Raikkonen Subse subsequently um, Kimi Raikkonen and Verstappen both um, retired due to suspension damage um, it was it was quite a nice touch by the Ferrari crew to bring to let the boy who started crying uh, when Kimi retired uh, to meet down to the into the pits to meet his hero that was a nice touch from Kimi and Ferrari well played Kimi a fight going down between uh, Magnussen and um, Sainz in the pits when they was uh, fighting to get into the out of the pits in front of each other, other and which resulted in Magnussen supposedly uh, pushing pushing um, um, signs onto the onto the grass but in my opinion it it um, it was a racing incident and uh, yes so and the other thing I would like to know is what I've realized was how hard um, Lewis Hamilton had to work um, in this race because he was literally punting and out of breath on every time he um, you could hear it on the on the on the, when they was um, broadcasting the team radio. Um, is it me or is it? Is um, Vettel a bit fitter than Hamilton because um, Hamilton um, sounded more out of breath than um, what Vettel did? What, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. That's just an observation I had. 34 I do believe out of 66. The virtual safety car had to be deployed because uh, Massa and Van Dorn uh, had a bit of a coming together, which resulting in um, which resulted in um, Van Dorn having to retire his McLaren, um, and then uh, Hamilton um, was complaining about Vettel trying to. Trying to um, push him, uh, ramming into him, um, while he was trying to retake the lead. Um, but I think that was just, that was just a bit of showboating, as uh, David Coulthard quite clearly stated, because there's no way that Hamilton wouldn't have done the same. Uh, it's just because. Uh, they, the drivers all obviously know that the um, the race director is listening into these into the radio transmissions. So I I think uh, it was just a showboat in for the cameras, and now Hamilton wasn't really complaining about Vettel's actions. Hamilton eventually. Took um, the win uh, f closely followed by by um, by Vettel and Daniel Ricciardo. Um, the the Force Indias did a stellar job finishing fourth and fifth, and the Hulk finished in sixth position and. Um, the other notable finisher was Pascal Wehrlein, um, 
who finished in eighth position. Um, uh, and um, and Roman Grosjean got the last point fame positions. Um, got the last point fame position in the uh, tenth place. Ironically, he got promoted into 10th place because of Magnussen uh, retiring um, with the with the mechanic with the mechanical issue, I do believe. And um, the, the, the the other the, the other thing was Ma Massa, uh, Philippe Massa had a puncture two laps from the end so um which other which dropped him out the points he, he finished in 13th and um and um he finished in 13th and stroll finished in 16th um which which is which um which um gives more gives Give more um, ammunition to my argument that uh, Verline should uh, should swap uh, seats with with um, Stroll because I I think it was a was a absolute stun stellar drive by Verline to get eighth eighth position and Sauber's first point. First four points on the board of the season, um, and um, but uh, Williams have dropped to sixth position in the driver standings, I do believe, and um, I think they would be better off swapping seats um, uh, between Verline and Stroll because Stroll is. Definitely not not good enough for Williams at this moment in his career, in my opinion. The same could be said for Julian Palmer, um, because Julian Palmer Julian Palmer uh, finished 15th when when well in comparison to it. To the Hulk, who finished in sixth position. So um, I think um, if if I think um, I think um, Renault have got no can't wait much longer to uh, before they have to seriously consider whether to fire Julian Palmer or not. Um, the only the thing the same thing could be said about uh, Lance Stroll, but the difference is that Lance Lance is in his rookie season, and um, yeah, so that's the only um, saving grace for Lance Stroll, uh, in my opinion. Um, uh, whereas um, Julian Palmer already had one season with Renault and he's clearly not good enough for Formula 1 therefore he should, should be fired I mean I, I thought Formula 1 was for the 20, 20 um, 22 uh, and actually for the 20 most talented racers in the world well clearly Julian Palmer Julian Palmer isn't one of them, so I reckon he should be fired. What, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. This has been uh, Razan of One. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And yes, um, if you do like what you see, give give this video a like. Let's get to 1,000 likes uh, before the Monaco Grand Prix. And also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And if you really like what you see, why not uh, 
why not um, show your appreciation by um, by uh, buying me a virtual beer? Um, you can do this by clicking on the link in my YouTube ben, uh, ben art uh, uh, here. Um, yeah, I would really appreciate your support. All right, all right, guys. Cheers for watching. See you, see you in Monaco. I'll, I'm very surprised. I'm, I'm very, um, can't wait to see how JB is gonna get on in place of Fernando Alonso. What, what do you guys think about that? Also, let me know in the comment section below. See you later, guys. Bye.